So today we are going to be going over Exo Primal, okay? And I, okay, I I don't want to speak too soon because I don't want to be a I don't want to be a dick, but I'm going to be a little bit of a dick here. I think Exo Primal. I've been seeing a lot of this. It could just be the algorithm just recommending it to me, but I've been seeing a lot of videos about Exo Primal, and I feel like it is going to be like Splitgate, okay? My head is itchy right now because I'm just, I'm just like, I'm not stressed, but like, I'm kind of stressed because I see everybody and you know, you know, the thing is too, I went on Xbox last night. I went on my Xbox and I, I thought it was on game pass for free or maybe for like at a discount or something. It is right now. It's $70, $70 for Exo primal, right? Um, they might be putting it on, on game pass. I don't know, but <laughs> I feel like it's going to be like split game, but it's just not, it's not free yet. So everyone is talking about this game. I have a video just want to buy James flux. Uh, I should like him. He does a lot of decent stuff. So I'm going to show you a video from him kind of going, he goes over like kind of what the game's about. So you can get a, a vibe of what the game feels like and how, and how it is. Um, but is it is a, first off it is a P PVPVE. So, Already right off the bat, I'm already skeptical, right? PvP always always makes me nervous because other people ruin games. Not the game doesn't ruin itself unless you're Call of Duty. Other people ruin games for you, not the game itself that ruins it for you. Ninety percent of the time, maybe ninety five percent of the time. Now, there's objectives you have to complete in short, and you have to complete those 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 objectives before the other team. I don't think there's just a PVE mode which is what I would like to be ha like to have is just a PVE mode where you just go through and just kill di dinosaurs. Um, but I also heard a lot of different things about Exo primal where the game itself was great as far as mechanics go, but the enemies are very forgettable. Like they're just dinosaurs that don't really do much to you. Right. There's a couple of like cool, like futuristic non fit, you know, like fictional type of dinosaurs, like they spew fire at you and whatever else and these laser beams and shit like, like, like that. So there, there is that. But most of the grunt dinosaurs don't really do much as far as like giving you a real immersive experience. So to, for me, the price point at $70 and hearing that and even seeing some of the gameplay that, that, that I've seen, it really doesn't feel like the game is worth the money. If it's just like not really me me memorable, especially for when, for when it comes to to enemies being sophisticated, and I'm not trying to say that they have to be Har Harvard graduates, right? I'm not. That's not what I'm saying. My 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 real qualm with this, if that's even the right word, is that if I'm gonna buy a game for seventy dollars, if the customization is there, okay, customization, different exo suits. That's okay. That's that's probably worth it. But like, if the enemies are kind of useless and they don't really provide any real value, then it's like, why am I buying this game, right? And I want to compare this to one other game, which this actually someone actually compared this game to uh, to someone compared Exo Primal to what the hell was the game name? Oh, Exo Primal was compared to Anthem. So it was, you know, you get, you get an exosuit, you get to fly around a little bit. Some, some of them hover, some of them fly, some of them jump really high. It seems more of like that kind of game it gives that kind of vibe. And the, the enemies, I must say in Anthem were pretty much the same. They were very, they were eh, like they were eh, you know, like they weren't very smart. They were just kind of there and they were just, they were just like your punching bags. A lot of the grunt enemies too were like punching bags. I, obviously when, when you first start, like a lot of the enemies are like, oh my God, these guys are so hard to beat. But like once you get to a certain point, once you get to a certain point of like upgrading your exosuit uh, or your hero, I, I forgot what the hell the thing was called in Anthem. But the, the enemy, the normal grunt enemies felt like they were just like, like a kind of in the way. You know what I mean? Um... Which is, I guess, kind of the concept of an actual vi vi video game. But at the end of the day, like, the, the the enemies, they felt very, like... The AI there felt very, like, stupid. It just, they just kind of just, like, hung around, shot at you, moved from one position to another, even if, 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 even if it was from, like, 10 feet to 10 feet, you know? They, were, they weren't really they weren't really doing much, you know? They weren't, like, attacking you in different ways. Like, they weren't, like, dodging, you know? Like, in Gears of War, like, the enemies, they dodge, they, like, they, they, they barrel roll, they do all this crazy shit when you're shooting at them, you know? 
Sometimes I'm like, God damn, that was an awesome dodge. But like, you know, if there are certain situations like that where you see it and you're like, okay. But um, I think Exo Primal is going to be more of like, it's going to be like Splitgate and like Anthem. Anthem was a disaster. There's a lot of different glitches in, in, in Anthem. I'm not saying it's, it's glitchy. What I'm saying is that it's going to be, it's going to die as fast as those games. Um, this is what normally happens. If you can't stay in the creator pool of being talked about for a lot of different bigger creators, the game usually dies. And Splitgate was fun, but I didn't like Halo that much. So I also didn't really want to play Split Splitgate. I got frustrated very easily. I played against bots. Splitgate against bots was fun. Doing different like custom matches. That was fun. But playing Splitgate with other people, that was so fucking boring. I'm I'm so over playing PvP games, if I'm being honest with, with, with you. I I I don't hate PvP games, but a lot of the glitches that happen in PvP games make it unplayable for me. Because I've had again, it could be could be my connection, could be their connection. Ping is is, is a real issue. And until until netcode, WebGL, uh, ping, and like all these different connection issues that, that we have from, you know, from console to console, from uh, platform to platform, like unless those go away, we're going to have the same issues of people being upset because of certain things. Like things are going to go wrong and things are going to be almost unplayable because we can't fix those things. Like once the technology catches up with what we can do as far as gaming, that will make it so that it's easier and, be and, and better to play and better to use. So until the technology goes up of like net networking and stuff like that, gaming is going to be a, a rough patch for a lot of people, especially the people that that have that are in technology that understand the reason why things are happening. Like you realize, I I want to make a cloud gaming pla pla platform, but you know that you cannot run a game like Call of Duty on it, especially in a multiplayer, because WebGL doesn't catch up to that you the technology is not caught up to that you cannot run a game like call of duty unless you downgrade the graphics significantly to like minecraft like you you will not be able to run a game like call of duty on on just on a server it's not going to happen <clears throat> one because uh the web browser can't take it number two your connection probably won't be able to take it unless you have like a gigabyte of internet well actually 100 gigabytes, 100 megabytes of internet per second should do it. But a lot of, like the majority of the world doesn't have like 100 to 200 me megabytes of internet. Even now, like the world, I'm not saying like United States, United States, I think standards like 200. Actually, before I say that, let me, let me actually check. What is the standard, st standard de deviation of internet connection in the u.s let's see if this comes up yeah so look even that see look 25 me megabytes for download and three megabytes for upload oh so oh no this is uh this is the standard so a lot of people may just have this you know so <coughs> we i i don't know that but <laughs> Yeah, the, this, it says the normal internet speed. I don't know if this is going to be a real answer, but it, it, it looks like it's still kind of, it looks like it's still kind of, you know, below 100. 99.3 meg, meg, megabits per, per second. Is 30 good? <laughs> I mean, they're saying that, that this is still a perfect choice. I mean, if you're a gamer, a perfect choice is like two, two to 300 me, megabytes a second, if I'm being honest in my, in my experience. But just goes to show you with, with that right there, it's like, you know, the problem is, is like people are the standard, the standard of, of, of internet connection is not high enough yet. So get having 30 to 40 me me megabytes per second, playing a, a game like call of duty is not going to work in general, not just on your Xbox. I mean, like even, especially playing on like a web browser, you're not gonna be able to do that. It's not, it's not going to work. You're going to, you can maybe, you maybe it'll play like a race car game that doesn't have that many graphics, but in case you're wondering, that's the reason why, uh, most people or Netflix or, um, these large corporations, the technology isn't there yet to make a cloud gaming pla platform. That's actually efficient. All the cloud gaming pla platforms that you see now, like Microsoft's game pass, that's working off of the Xbox, which is still has issues with people trying to play larger games. Like 
If I play Gears of War on there, I notice I visibly I visibly notice the difference in issues when I play Gears of War on Game Pass versus if I play Gears of War when it's downloaded on, on onto my Xbox. So the 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 there's issues that are gonna pop up and be there no matter what you do. So the technology has to catch up before we can actually do 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 these things. <clears throat> and since I went off on, on this tangent, I actually forgot what the hell I was talking about, really. But um Exo Primal um, being free on Game Pass might be a real thing. It might be better, and I might actually test it out then. But until it gets to there, I'm probably I'm not going to spend seventy dollars on it. That's insane. For for all the reviews that I've seen, and for the gameplay that I've physically seen, I've made my own decision that it's like it's not really. It's probably not really worth it to see that to actually do that and get that done because it just, it just isn't. Like, why would I spend that much money on that when I don't have to or when I shouldn't? You know what I mean? So, I just, I feel like Exo Primal is going to be like Splitgate. There's been a lot of games. Like, even X Define, I feel like, is going to be like Split Splitgate. Because a lot of times when people say things like, oh, it's the Call of Duty killer, or it's this killer, it's like, you're setting, like, you're setting a high bar for, for, for this game, right? You're setting a very, very high bar. Which is what I, I learned not to do when I'm making games, or when I'm trying to make something, or when I'm trying to build something and be successful with it. Like, do not compare it to something else. If people compare it to something else, that's different. But if you say, oh, it's the next net, if, if you say it's the next net, la, 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 I can't talk. If you say it's the next Netflix, that's the problem. Okay. I've, I've done that in the past and I think it turned off a lot of people. So I've learned from my mistakes. Don't compare things too high. Don't do, don't high bar things too, too much. Make it so that it's, you know, it's keep it within reason, right? Use your own comparisons. Make something where like this is going to be better than it was ten years ago. This can be something that's better than it was, you know, five years ago. This can be something that's better than than a month ago. Like you're, we're going to improve this ten times within the, within the next year. Whereas it's going to feel like it's the next AI of this or whatever. Like if you're doing a if you're doing a comparison, make sure it's a general comparison, not something specific like like a specific company or brand, because then people are going to have a high bar. So if I say X Defiant is the Call of Duty killer, that is a high bar. Okay. We all know Call of Duty really can't. I've said this many times. Call of Duty is the only thing that could kill itself. I I, I don't think anything will be able to actually kill Call, Call of Duty itself. So, with that being said, um, setting a high bar is not good, especially for X Defiant. Like, I saw the, the game X Defiant. I also heard a lot of glitches about it. I was, I was watching Tim, and I think Nick played or something like that, or Tim and Doc playing it. And, um... You know, it, it didn't look like a Call of Duty killer. Like, it had some cool things about it. There were some customizations. Yeah, it looked pretty cool. But, um, you know, I, I, I just, I, I think that when people right out the gate say Call of Duty killer, it's like, it's just a catchy title at this point. And when I, whenever I do that, whenever I put Call, kill, Call of Duty killer, if you're hearing me say this, because I did put Call of Duty killer in the X to Five video that, that I made, but it was mostly a joke. Like it was like pretty much mocking the people that do that shit. You know, like it's it, it like X defiant has to stand on its own as its own game. And so heck, so is Exo primal. Like I, you shouldn't, you could kind of have you know, things that remind you of it, but like, you know, again, like Exo primal kind of reminds me of Anthem, but Anthem was a fucking disaster. Right. So that kind of gives me like, you know, it was a dumpster fire. Let's be honest. Anthem was a fucking dumpster fire. So, what I what I really want to to kind of get across here is let the game live on its own and let it have its own titles instead of giving it some kind of like catchy title. I, I hate when YouTubers do this, when content creators do 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 this. Like, stop doing that. You know, it doesn't it doesn't help you. It doesn't help the game. So you're you're making it into a split gig. You're making it into an anthem because you're comparing it to something else. X Defiant's the best example I can make of this. But, um. Exo Primal is with dinosaurs, so you can't really you can't really compare it with Anthem, because it's the the concept is different. So it's going to be a different experience. People that love dinosaurs or people that love Alien versus Predator, like pe people that love military shooters, they're going to play those games that they love to play. They love those they love those genres. They love those topics. They love the characters in there. So they're not getting it because it's like it's better than Netflix or it's better than. You know, it's it's better than Call of Duty. They're getting it because it stands on its own. 
It has its own mechanics. It has its own enemies. It has its own characters. It has its own commentary. It has its own story. Those are the things that people are trying to look for, right? So that's why I'm also trying not to compare Exo Primal to, to anything, but I am still comparing. I'm going kind of against my word here, but at the same time, I want you to kind of like get a vibe of what it's like. But let's let's go let's let's go ahead and watch it, watch uh, James's James's vi video real quick, just so you can get a full perspective of what the game's about. Let me, let me make my volume a little lower so that you don't hear double. The game that everyone has been asking for, and guess what? It's not a battle royale. Exo Primal not a is a royale. futuristic I don't think there is a battle PvE royale. Thank, thank God. Person shooter where you're an exo fighter in an exo suit, which was made by an AI, where you fight an army of dinosaurs. Uh, yeah, that's what he says. And these extremely badass exo suits each have their own special abilities and weapons, which you can customize to fit your style. By the way, I call dibs on this one. Okay. The first team to complete all the people PVE objectives will win. However, if your team this, is, this is cool. behind, you can I kind of want that suit, the one that you can like pull out that shield. PvP That's awesome. Style. Exo Primal will be yours for free on the Xbox Game Pass on July 14th, as well as all of these platforms. This is the game that everyone has been asking for, and guess what? It's not a battle royale. Exo Primal is so, the future. Essentially, um, I I don't I think that Exo Primal will be an interesting game to play in general. And I don't think that people are going to hate it um, up front, but I think people that spent money on it will probably hate it within the next, within the next month or two, because it's, I don't, I don't think they're going to be able to keep up with, with the demand on this game. So that, that's, that's, that's one of the, that's what, it's one of the more major issues with, with smaller game companies like, like this, this, that was kind of the reason too, with Splitgate was, um, a lot of times they can't handle the server, the, the the amount of people that get on the server, right? So when when it's self-hosted, and I mean self-hosted by the company, not not by Microsoft or whatever. Um, when it's self-hosted, what ends up happening is they end up running out of money because when you get a lot of people on a game that don't spend money or that you know maybe spend a little bit of money, it gets the traffic gets to be a lot. And they have to upgrade servers. They have to spend more money on, on you know, different mechanics, not mechanics, uh, physical hard hardware that can actually run the game properly. Now, sp this happened to Splitgate. And once Splitgate kind of got out of the news to, you know, the alternative to Warzone or whatever, um, then it kind of got to the point where, you know, I think people just kind of dropped off because nobody was talking about it again. That's the biggest thing, too, that I, that I find in, in, an issue with is um, content creators that talk about things, right? And I do this, too. But, you know, I'm just I'm calling it out like 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 it is. And I kind of hate it at, at the same time to get views. A lot of times you have to talk about games that, you know, either you don't want to talk about or that, you know, that are new, right, just to get views. Now, I don't care about views, but I also want to cover topics just because I'm interested in it. Like, I've always, I'm going to be honest with you, I've always wanted a game that I could play to, against di di dinosaurs and kill di dinosaurs. And if any of you say that stupid game, what is it called? The survival game. They have to drink water and keep yourself alive. I forgot what the hell, what the hell is it called? Dinosaur game that you keep yourself. Ark. That's what it was. Ark. Okay. So if if any of you say Ark, I'm gonna punch you in the I'm gonna reach this camera and punch you in the throat. Okay? Because Ark was not good. Okay? I've 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 always wanted a game that I could play against di dinosaurs. If any of you say Ark, I'm gonna reach through this and punch you in the mouth. Okay? I'm gonna be honest with you. I I Ark was okay. I just, again, I don't like the whole feed yourself, drink water shit. I think that's a waste of my time. I'd rather be building a house or whatever, you know, doing things in the game that actually matter versus fucking keeping my character alive. Like if I, I'm going to go drink water in the kitchen. Now I got to feed my guy too. Come on. It's so, so stupid. Any, anyway, I'm, I'm being picky, but, but my point is right. Is that I've always wanted a dinosaur game. And this is something where like, it's an all out type of thing. You get an exosuit, you get abilities, you get super abilities, whatever else. That's the shit that's cool. Right. I, and I don't have to feed myself or get myself water. Hopefully to, like keep my exosuit alive. I think that's dumb. Maybe, maybe if I need fuel, I, I don't fucking know. I hope not. But, um, if any, if, if anything is in the game, I feel like it should be rechargeable. Like if, if I need, like if I, if I have a health bar, it should be rechargeable. I, I don't, I don't want to have to bandage myself up. 
to fucking get it, get health back. Even though I did, I did like Far Cry. That was kind of fun. Um, but uh, if I if I if I have a jetpack, I should it should be regenerable. I shouldn't have to get fucking fuel for it. I hate having to go and get fuel. Like Warzone Two when they when they added the fuel tanks and shit like 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 that in there. Nah, -uh. nope, stupid. I should be able to go to a gas station to repair my stuff, but I but I but I should not have to fill it up with fuel. But I like how how they made it so that like the gas station is well. Be, my point is that my point is to that is that like I don't want to have to go and like repair like or I have to find like a repair tool or something kind of like in Battlefield. Like I don't want to have to like go find a gas tank in like in like a gas station, which is a fucking gas station, to to have to fill up my car. I should just be able to pull into the gas station, fill up my car, and repair it at the same time, which you can do it. Which I which I enjoyed what they did there. That was actually really nice in in my in, in Warzone too, but. I got off topic again. So essentially, um, Exo Primal, um, I think that's an all-out di dinosaur game and that people will enjoy. But the thing is that, like, unless you're, unless people are talking about you, I think that the game will, will die. And that's what usually happens. That's what happened with Splitgate. That's what happened. I mean, that might be even happen with, with X Defiant because if people aren't getting views on X Defiant, they're not going to cover it. So that's another thing, too. That's the thing I was just kind of talking about where if you don't cover something – you know, if you don't stay within the media, this is this is this is for companies. If you don't stay in the media, you know, now it's influencers. You're not going to get any attention, so you're not going to get any downloads. You're not going to get any people pe people playing your game. So, at the end of the day, um, if the if the game doesn't get viewers either, if the game doesn't really spark people's in, in interest, people are going to turn you down for doing it for doing a collaboration so it's like if they if they get a warzone 2 contract or somebody that talks about warzone 2 or maybe they get like a hundred thousand viewers per warzone 2 vi video or per live stream or whatever they're not going to play your x defiant game that only gets them fit like fifteen thousand. so that's something you have to take into account too so um i think exo primal is going to be the game that's that is going to live for probably a few months and i think people are going to stop talking about it and then people are going to stop covering it I mean, it might even be dead right right now. I mean, I may be making this video just as you know, it may get five views if I'm lucky, right? You most of you probably won't even make it this far into the video. So here, here, here we are. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I, you know, I, I, I just, I just hope that they put it on Game Pass and make it free. I, I think right now they're probably trying to make as much money as they can by not putting it on, on Game Pass because Game Pass probably, they probably make no money on Game Pass, the actual developers. Um, so now that it's being talked about, they're probably going to keep keep it on there. And then once once the hype starts to die down, they're probably going to put it on Game Pass and make it free, uh, free-ish with, with Game Pass. Uh, that's what happens with a lot of games. That's, that's the pattern that I've been seeing. Uh, so if you're on Xbox, I would probably wait a little bit. I wouldn't spend seventy dollars right right now, unless it's gone down since last time I checked, which is I think two two days ago. So it could have gone down in price, but it was seventy bucks. Um, I didn't see any other versions of it. It could also be because I I have an old Xbox One that could be it too. I also don't think that that XL Prime will be able to run on my Xbox One. To be honest, I mean again, I that's like um uh, that's like a World War Z type type of situation where if I play World World War Z, if there's like a certain amount of characters on the screen, my my frames go down to like one per second. So um with all these in the video that I just showed you with uh with James, I mean a lot of that stuff looks like it's got a lot of stuff in it. So like a lot of di dinosaurs in it. So I'm confident in saying probably won't be able to run on my xbox very very well especially if there's a lot of di dinosaurs on screen and then if there's players too and dinosaurs and i end up lagging and dying i'm gonna be pissed so it's like it's just that i'm just setting myself up for for, for failure i i feel like in, in in that sense so you know it, it, it is what it is but if you have watched this podcast this far please drop a like and you have to you have to you have to subscribe let's be honest come on you've, you've watched this this far